Hey everybody, before we get started in today's review, I wanted to talk about some changes to the channel that just happened. Uh, it's been something I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, it was, if you're new to the channel, this was called Nate Reviews Yo-Yos. That's what it's been like for about a year and a half or so since I started this. And the goal was to do just that, review yo-yos. Uh, but recently I've been kind of wanting to add a little bit more to that and uh, feel like the branding of Nate Reviews Yo-Yos is really kind of limited. Uh, and uh, to me just doing reviews and so I want to talk more about uh, doing tutorials and things like that and I've concluded a few things here and there um, on the channel but I want to do more of that I want to do maybe even some commentary and just kind of have the wide array of uh, possibilities um, and, and not just do reviews strictly and so uh, Nate Reviews Yo-Yos is no more you'll find still all those videos here uh, but it is now officially called Let's Talk Yo-Yo. So Let's Talk Yo-Yo is now the name of this channel and uh, I hope you'll enjoy and here's today's review. Hello good yo-yo people, I'm Nate and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. Today I am reviewing The Bliss by SF Yo-Yos. Let's talk about The Bliss. <laughs> This is the in the hand section. You will find in the description box um, all the specs for this yo-yo. So if you're curious about that, um, definitely check that out and check out SF Yo-Yos and everything uh, they have. And uh, there's some water droplets on my glasses. It's dripping from this tree up here. Rained a while back, but it's, uh, it's good cloud coverage and good lighting. Much better. So I'm talking about the Bliss. Uh, this is signature uh, Paul Harness. Uh, Paul is... Um, been on the team, I don't know, so maybe about a year, something like that, for SF Yo-Yos. I know for a while, Paul was one of those guys that you're like, oh my goodness, somebody pick this kid up. He just, he's incredible. Um, probably one of the cleanest players that I know out there. I mean, everything I've ever seen of his, um, even in competition, uh, on stage, live, super clean. And uh, a lot of tech, a lot of really intricate tricks. He's a really enjoyable player to watch. You should definitely check him out. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you're missing out. Because this is his signature yo-yo. It's also SF's first signature yo-yo. Let's get to the bliss. Uh, this is, of course, an organic yo-yo. Nah, just kidding. Uh, it's a V-shaped yo-yo. Um, I do know a few, few things. All right, so this is a V-shaped yo-yo. Uh, radically V-shaped. That's why I was joking here. Uh, it's very, very much a V-shaped yo-yo. Uh, and, and it's okay. So it looks wider than it really is. It feels even wider than it really is. It's not crazy wide. It's about as wide. Actually, it's almost exactly as wide as the Delrin. I put it. I don't have it out here, but the Delrin of theirs that I reviewed, identical in, in width. So it's nothing crazy. It's not like a super wide or something like that. Still very comfortable in the hand. Uh, but it has a nice width to it that. Um, the feel in the hand is really nice and uh, isn't really um, going to be uncomfortable like some V-shapes tend to be uh, with those edges and so on. So good width uh, for my larger hands and uh, good diameter too. The metal they use for this is 7068. Um, most standard yo-yos are made with 6061 uh, and then you see a lot of 7075 aluminum yo-yos but this is 7068 which the little I know about it is that it's pretty much as dense as 7075 so you can do some things like thin out those walls a little bit more and work with it that you can do with that but it's a little bit cheaper to work with so it keeps the cost of the yo-yo down uh, and so uh, which all SF yo-yos have been on the you know inexpensive side but quality uh, they do a lot of that by cutting down on packaging and branding and that sort of thing so there's I've never seen any engravings on any SF yo-yos it's always very clean um, I like that personally, um, and their color choices are always very solid, uh, not literally solid. In this case it is. I like solid colors, but you see a lot of uh, fades and stuff like that as well. But typically they're straightforward design, straightforward color. There's no nonsense. The blast on this is that matted blast that they always have. It's going to be really good for grinds. This yo-yo is a bimetal yo-yo. 
Uh, this is not their first bimetal yo-yo, uh, but it's uh, it's nice. It's really nice, but it's it's definitely shaped different than their other bimetal, the SFSS, which has the internal rings, the very thin. These are much thicker. They're not crazy thick, uh, but they bend around on, on the outside. So uh, the playability is going to feel quite different than that internal. Uh, it's definitely going to have a little bit more of a weight rim feel to it. Very well balanced kind of feel to it. Um, let's talk about the gap a little bit. Uh, it does have a little bit of a um, rounded off wall there. You know, not a high wall, but uh, it has a little bit of a step there so that it keeps some string drag from the edge there as well. Uh, and so that's nice uh, instead of just going straight down to a V. So it's going to be good for horizontal tricks. I mean, everything on paper, before I even throw this, you're going to see that this is a performance-driven, competition-driven yo-yo. I can see many of SF guys throwing this in competition uh, for the season here. So, of course, this is Paul Harness's signature, so I'm assuming he will be throwing it as well. Let's go ahead and see how it actually plays on the string. <laughs> Welcome back to the On The String section with the Bliss signature yo-yo of Paul Harness. I'm really excited about Paul. Uh, keep an eye on that guy if you haven't already been. Uh, he's going places and I think he's going to really start destroying the competition uh, pretty quickly. I really like his style. He's also super humble and uh, he just seems to really love yo-yoing, which I think the Bliss is a really good name for a signature yo-yo for him. All right, let's talk about how the yo-yo plays on the string. Um, talked about that feel in the hand a little bit. On a catch, it's still really smooth and comfortable. It's not really going to hurt the palm at all. It's not going to hit the hand real hard. It has a fairly light um, spec ratio on it, which I think is exactly how bimetals should be because you can really put a lighter body and put all that weight on the metal stainless steel rings in this case. And uh, very much like the Elite, where it feels really light, but it is a powerhouse on spins. This yo-yo has tons of power behind it. And uh, just a lot of power. All right, it's starting to rain here. Let's go ahead and throw a trick. like the bliss uh, there's nothing negative i can say about it um, it is all performance overall really just smooth yo-yo there's nothing i can really say negative about this yo-yo overall feel on the string has a little bit of that just kind of overall great weight it's not super quick but it has a nice little weight to it so you can kind of push it through tricks it's very much a performance driven yo-yo and so I like it. Another win. I think Paul is obviously very happy with SF Yo-Yos being on their team and also super happy to have a signature that fits his style. And I think a lot of people are going to love this, which I've said this before. It's really tricky to do a, uh, a good signature Yo-Yo that everyone's going to like because it's geared towards that player's style and performance. And I think they nailed it here where a lot of people are really going to like this Yo-Yo really can't find much I dislike about it. Um, I think the only thing that you just have to be careful of because of that width, uh, it's a crazy stable yo-yo, but on some regens it's maybe not going to be as smooth. Uh, I see I, I threw that one pretty smooth. So it's just getting used to it, um, especially for those organic lovers out there. Don't dismiss this yo-yo. It plays really, really well. It's very comfortable in the hand. It gets knots just like every other yo-yo. It's gonna be one of those yo-yos I think you'll wanna pick up, especially if you're struggling with a trick. Um, it's gonna give you that extra boost of confidence. Hopefully it carries along with it the spirit of Paul, uh, and uh, maybe I can harness a little bit of that. See what I did there? See what I did there? It's pretty good, isn't it? That's gonna do it for my review of The Bliss by SF Yo-Yo Signature Yo-Yo Paul Harness. And as usual, good day and good yo-yo.